Father, will bless you. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Uh, please teach us your word once again in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Lord will be teaching us on a topic that says, He dreamed a dream. He dreamed a dream. Genesis chapter 28, verse 11 to 15 will be our text for this teaching. Jacob got to a strange place and he used some strange stones as pillow and he had a strange encounter. The Bible says Jacob dreamed a dream. Before we look at the content of his dream, it is important to value dreams. Yes, it is important we know that we must value our dreams. Your dreams will prepare you for what to expect and what not to expect. It will prepare you for what to accept and what to reject. If you don't if you don't usually remember your dreams each time you have them, then you need to pray. It is dangerous to have dreams and not being able to remember them. If God shows you something to beware of. If you, the receiver, cannot remember the details of the revelation, then you may end up falling victim of it. Every dream is a revelation. Now, let's look at the content of Jacob's dream. First, a ladder began, a ladder began from the earth, but its top reaches into the heavens. Two, the angels of the Lord were ascending and descending through this ladder. Three, then he saw the Lord standing above the ladder. Four. Then the Lord said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. Five. The land where you are shall be given to you and your seed. Six. Thy seed shall be as the dust. They shall spread to the east, west, south, north. And in them shall hold the families of the earth be blessed. 7. I am with you and I will keep you in all places that you go. 8. I will bring you again to this land. I will not leave you until I have done all that my mouth have spoken concerning you. We can see that in Genesis chapter Genesis chapter 28 verse 12 to 15. Let us critically analyze this its content of Jacob's dream. The first statement shows that Jacob saw a ladder which was tall into the heavens. That ladder is a portal. It is a door on earth that leads to heaven. That ladder is the way of salvation. Salvation is God's ladder to bring people to himself. You can find you can find the feet on earth but definitely the top is in heaven meaning that anyone climbing the ladder of salvation will surely land in heaven. There is no other destination in salvation different from God's kingdom. Secondly, he saw the angels of the Lord ascending and descending. This is because that land where Jacob found himself was one of those lands where his ancestors built altars to sacrifice unto God. So, due to these altars, they had trapped the presence of God in that territory. Fortunately for Jacob, the stones he used as pillows were part of the stones that was used in erecting that altar. Then, anyone who stumbles on God's altar won't miss an encounter. Whether he did it intentionally or not, that won't be consequential. The third thing he, was, the third thing he saw was that the Lord was above the ladder. That further shows that the presence of God was in that land. This was the same reason God told Moses to put off his sandals because he was on unholy ground. The appearance of God is the presence of God. The appearance of God is the presence of God. The fourth thing he saw was an introduction from God. The Lord introduced himself as the God of Abraham and Isaac. The reason is because Jacob is yet to have any tangible relationship with, with the Lord. So in order for God to help to help him start to help him start the process of relationship he had to introduce himself when you meet with someone who who doesn't know you the first thing to do 
is an introduction. This encounter was to help Jacob know who God is and to draw closer to him. The fifth to hate statement were promises. In the fifth statement, God promised to give that land to Jacob and his seed. This this and his seed. This means that the Lord will this means that the land will belong to him and his children will inherit it from him. In the sixth statement, the Lord told him that, that his seed will be many and they will fill every corner of the earth. It will, it will bless them so greatly that in them will all the families of the earth be blessed. In the seventh statement, the Lord assured him of his presence with him and his protection over him. In the eighth statement, the Lord promised not to leave him until everything he said is fulfilled. If God won't leave you, then you must not leave God. May the Lord give you grace to walk in the Abrahamic covenant. Remember Jacob and Isaac, his father, have the Abrahamic covenant. And that's why the two of them were listed with Abraham. That is why we now have what we call the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You may be surprised to know that even if Jacob didn't stole his brother's blessing, he will still be listed with Abraham. Jacob wasn't listed with Abraham and Isaac because he stole his brother's blessing. He qualified to be part. He qualified to be part of the of the list because his own original two blessings, which his father released on him while he was departing to Iran, contained the Abrahamic blessings. The Abrahamic blessings can't be stolen. The only way to access it is to be qualified for it. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus.